Good morning and welcome to Burns Bible Stories for Kids. We do this each Friday morning at about 11 o'clock on Facebook and on the YouTube channel. So thanks for joining us. And today we're going back to the Jesus Storybook Bible. And it's a story that you may have heard of called the prodigal son or the lost son. And this one's called Running Away. Jesus told the story about a boy who ran away. Once upon a time, there was a boy and his dad. Now, one day, the boy gets to thinking, maybe if I didn't have my dad around telling me what is good for me all the time, I'd be happier. How he's spoiling my fun. Does my dad really want me to ha be happy? Does he really love me? The son, the son never thought of that before, but suddenly he doesn't know anymore. So the son goes to his father and says, Dad, I'm better off without you. I can look after myself. Just give me my share of your money. Now his father is sad, but he won't force his boy to stay. So he gives his son what he wants. The son takes the money and goes on a long, long journey to a far off country. And everything's wonderful and perfect for a while. He can go wherever he wants, do whatever he wants, be whoever he wants. He is the boss. He is free. Sometimes he gets a strange, hungry, homesick feeling inside his heart, but then he just eats more or drinks more or buys more clothes or goes to more parties until that feeling goes away. But soon his money runs out, and so do his friends. He ends up getting the only job he can find, feeding pigs. One day he is so hungry and so desperate, he even tries some of the pig food. What am I doing, he says to himself as he has woken from a nightmare or something like that. He spits it out and says, yuck, this is ick, this is gross. My father's rich and here I am in a pigsty eating pig food. He wipes off his mouth and dusts himself off and says, I'm going home. And he starts for home. He begins to worry. Dad won't love me anymore. I've been too bad. He won't want me for his son anymore. So he starts practicing his I'm sorry speech. All this time, what he doesn't know is that day after day, his dad has been standing on his porch, straining his eyes, looking into the distance, waiting for his son to come home. He just can't stop loving him. He longs for the sound of his voice. He can't be happy until he gets his son back. The son is still a long way off, but his dad sees him coming. The son says, what will the dad do? Fold his arms and frown or shut? That'll teach you, or I told you so, or just you wait, young man. No, that's not how this story goes. The dad leaps off the porch, races down the hill, through the gap, in the hedge, up the road. And before his son can even begin the I'm sorry speech, his dad runs to him, throws his arms around him, and can't stop kissing him. His dad shouts, let's have a party. My boy's home. He ran away. I lost him, but now I have him back. Jesus told them, God is like the dad who couldn't stop loving his boy. And people are like the son who said, does my dad really want me to be happy? Jesus told this story to show them what God is like, to show people what they are like. So they could know however far they ran, however well they hid, however lost they were, it wouldn't matter. Because God's children could never run too far or be too lost for God to find them. Thanks again so much for joining us for Burns Bible Stories for Kids. Uh, down below, if you can like or comment or even share the story with your friends, we would really appreciate it. And then hope you join us again next Friday morning at 11 o'clock right here on Facebook or on YouTube. Hope you have a great week.